Nathan Lane is back on Broadway in Douglas Carter Bean's moving gay drama, The Nance. And we're here to bring you inside all the opening night festivities. For you, what makes Nathan Lane a one-of-a-kind performer? Oh my god, I was literally on, in a car on the way here and w was thinking like, if my high school self could know that I was coming to like his opening, that he would probably like just vomit everywhere. Well, he's the greatest. So I'm here for him and I'm here for Jack O'Brien, who was my mentor and a uh, great director for me uh, about 30 years ago and uh, we've been friends ever since and for this wonderful author. I've known Nathan forever and uh, I just, I'm just astonished by his range, by his depth of uh, how, how he's able to actually embody so many different kinds of characters and I think he's really one of the great actors uh, that I've ever, greatest actors I've ever known and, and worked with. He has a huge heart great intellect and he's just a fabulous person and I just I adore him he's a friend and I'm one of his biggest fans A role like Chauncey Miles doesn't come around often do you feel like this is a perfect showcase for your talents and your versatility Well I don't choose a part in that way, I you know I choose it because the, I love the play and I like the, what the play was was doing and I thought it was an ambitious and theatrical piece and obviously it's a you know tremendous gift of a role um, and it's very demanding. You know I just love I've loved Doug and we've talked about collaborating before and then he wrote this and and sent it to me and I was just thrilled. Let's talk about what it's like to play so closely with Nathan Lane on stage in this really piece that's about you too. Uh, he's a he's a genuine guy. I mean, he makes it really easy to just to work. He so easy to work with him. Um, he's just he's a really good guy. I mean, he's obviously funny. Everyone knows that. But he's got a very rich emotional life, and he really loves digging into those scenes as well. I think basically this is his entertainer, as John Osborne created the entertainer basically with Olivier in mind. Doug Bean has created this piece with Nathan and I, and I hope it does the same for him. You guys play such a troupe of performers, and I, I love it. Is, is that what the dynamic is like offstage, too, if you become this close-knit family? Absolutely, and you would think when you have a superstar like Nathan Lane in the middle of it that that wouldn't be so, but he has been so generous and made us feel like it's an ensemble piece, although he's doing all the heavy lifting. Uh -huh. The story is so moving and heartbreaking by the end. What do people tell you after they've seen this show? What are you hearing, the reaction? You know, I mean, some people, I see them, they just burst into tears. <laughs> some people are like, it's so funny, and I, it's so sad, and it's so funny, and it's so moving. And some people say, you know, thank you. Like, this isn't, I, I really felt that. I think it shocks the audience and moves the audience. So, you know, to be able to cry and, and, and laugh as hard as people do in the course of one evening, uh, yeah, that's worth the price of a ticket, that's for sure. It's kind of relentless, it never stops. We never stop changing clothes and we never stop acting from, you know, very heavy emotional scenes to, you know, the silliest of burlesque. I think it's just so full of universal truth about how hard it can be and to love yourself and others and that struggle is captivating. A lot of people straight and gay are telling me it reminds them of the first love that they have that doesn't work out but it teaches you how to have love in your heart and that is exactly what I wanted to write about. I, I just think the most important thing is with storytelling is to let people know that they're not alone so it's, it's really nice when um, people respond in that way and, and feel maybe less alone after having seen it and you know yeah experiencing that story. 